we look at the operator interface on a case-by-case -case basis uh, when we go through the discovery phase with clients. Depending on the kind of machine and the kind of operator that, that's going to be operating the machine, we try to tailor the interface to have the best success for operation. Um, sometimes that means a very tactile interface for an operator, and we usually propose something like that when we know the operator is going to be looking at something else, for example, the weld in progress. For a fully automated machine like this, we, we include a touchscreen HMI, where we can actually display a lot of information on there, and the operator is more visually oriented at the interface and, and can see the buttons that he's actually pressing on there. For this particular machine, we've uh, included four HMIs. Three are located on the cell of the machine, one at the loading portion, one at the main control station, and one at the outbound section of the machine. And we also have the touchscreen HMI for the robot for teaching various points. In addition to that, we also have tactile operator control for the outbound cart, which allows the operator to hold the control in one hand and feel where the buttons are while he's doing something with his other hand. That's an example of where we choose a tactile control over an HMI screen. People often ask, you know, what's the cost difference between an HMI versus a push button and joystick interface? Um, and my answer is always, it depends. And it really depends on how many push buttons you have, um, the operator that's going to be using it. I think a better question is, how much more productive can my operator be with a push button interface versus an HMI interface. Um, a push button interface, uh, while the individual components aren't as expensive as perhaps an HMI on its own, especially a larger screen, the combination of wiring all those buttons up and connecting them and, and, and doing all that and all the labor involved in actually just putting it all together uh, can be quite significant and, and actually approach or even exceed the cost of an HMI interface to start. Um, an HMI interface provides the added benefit um, of reconfigurability. So the HMI interface can be reprogrammed at a later date or you know, screens can be added without affecting the physical control panel. If you want to add buttons to a push button interface, you have to find a space for an extra button. We can actually put a lot of information on an HMI. So um, we don't have to fill it up completely with buttons. We can, we can put a lot of images that are intuitive for the user to interpret. Um, we can have video feed from a camera in the system. Um, <clears throat> we can reconfigure buttons very easily without affecting physical hardware. Um, also the labor to install an HMI is significantly less than putting together a push button interface. Um, push buttons on the other hand, uh, benefits are they're very tactile. So for a user that, that can't devote their attention to to viewing the interface while they're performing their task. Um, push buttons can be very handy because the, the user can be watching over here while they can actually feel the buttons that they're, they're going to be working with. And the relative cost uh, between the two actually can vary. A push button interface with a lot of push buttons and joysticks can actually cost more than, a, an, than an HMI interface at times. Um, so it's, it's really more about what's best for the operator to work with.